Hi, this is Pastor Rachel McIver Mori, and this is the introductory video for the Book of Amos for those doing the project of reading the Bible in a year. As we come to the Book of Amos, we're making a transition in the notion of prophet and prophet P R O P H E T, obviously. And we have certainly had prophets in uh, the stories we read in the Old Testament and Hebrew Bible up to this point, but they are typically depicted as characters in stories and they're narrated externally by an omniscient third person narrator. As we come to the book of Amos, we make a transition because what we are seeing now is that the prophets are writing in their own words and they are the authors of the books. Amos is the oldest of what we refer to as the prophetic books, and there's minor prophets and there's major prophets, um, and that's determined simply by length of book, not by importance at all. But uh, Amos is the oldest of these prophetic books, which come at the end of what we refer to as the Old Testament or the Hebrew Bible. You find similar themes in many of these books, uh, a recall to God's covenant, um, a, an injunction for the people to return uh, from idolatry, to seek justice, and uh, naming pretty explicitly what the consequences are if none of those things happen. Amos, in particular, has some very famous lines, let justice roll down like a waterfall, righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. And uh, he was uh, doing his ministry around the year 750 BC, more, more or less. It was during the reign of Jeroboam in the southern kingdom, but his ministry was to the northern kingdom. And he called both to account for their uh, straying from the covenant um, rules and promises uh, that God had given them. So as you read Amos, uh, understand that he is the oldest of the prophetic books that are written in the voice of the prophet themselves. And consider the way that the pattern of this book uh, informs later prophet, prophetic books that you'll be reading as well. As always, we have our three questions. Number one, where is God in what I am reading? Number two, uh, are there any thoughts, ideas, or concepts that are challenging to me and why? And number three, what's going on in the world today which intersects with what I'm reading? Thanks as always. Happy reading.